morning, Sam. Ooh, getting my truck. This might take a second. Time to shut the truck off. Dude, you look kind of new. Hmm. When I do get a bigger truck, probably right around Christmas time, maybe after, I'll be able to start separating resale stuff with stuff that uh, is going to be scrapped. Pumpkin. Let's get this cord right away, else I'll forget. Good morning. Gotta say good morning already. Oh, it's beautiful out. Oh no. It's starting the theme. The day of fluffy scrap. I got a truckload completely full. It weighs seven pounds. Wait a minute. A second piece of fluff. in my truck fluff a stove is that a stove or oven are they synonymous that's the oven part stove top I get I don't even know the nomenclature That's a scrap man right there. That's why there's such little scrap out. All right. I just had to pull everything out right here. That's what I like scrapping in the morning because there's hardly anybody out. Either people are at work or they're sleeping. The majority, I should say. Yeah, let's try going a little lower. How's that? That thing is not light. Nope. Not at all. <sighs> wow, I can't get my fingers on her. <clears throat> Let's get that cord. you scrap get in the truck
wasn't gonna work, was it? Now with that other scrapper guy running around, my immediate thought is, hey, he's already doing this neighborhood. I should go to the next neighborhood. But here's what I was thinking. If I have that thought, he probably has that thought. So he probably bounced to the next neighborhood. So I'm gonna continue in this neighborhood just to see. Like that right there. Um, and also, to me, he is not competition. Uh, I know a lot of people will be like, hey, he's picking up all your scrap, or he's making all your money, or whatever. I, I think that's, in my never so humble opinion, <laughs> I think that's the wrong mindset. That this guy is helping keeping these items out of the landfill that's about a mile away from here. And uh, I'm I'm thrilled about that, and it, because that's that's my goal. My goal is for these items to not get buried in my local landfill. And if I have others that are helping that cause, God bless them, and I mean that. What is this? Anything good? Well, I don't see anything good. Excuse me, sir. Do you, do you mind if? Uh, yes, sir. Are you looking for some metal? Yes, sir. Okay, I got some for you. Do you? Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll zip back around. Is this your house right here? Right here. Right. All right. Okay. I'll, I'll see you in a second. Okay. Wow, you got all kinds of stuff. Hey, first off, thank you. All my gratitude to your service to our country. You're welcome. All right. You're welcome. Wonderful. All right, I'll grab that from you. Okay. Now these, I was up in Wisconsin, I bought them. Where are they? Huh? Where those, are those things? Those are supposed to be a bolt tire, okay? Right. And they're old. Okay. What they did is they ruined it. What they did. Ah, oh, I they, see. They cut off the thing and welded them. Okay, so they made a specialty tool out of it. Yeah, what? I don't know, but. Yeah, they were trying to pop some rivets or something. Yeah. All right, I'll be right back. See? Yes. Okay. Yep. I can't use them weights anymore because I've had an operation yeah. on my arms. Oh yeah? I can't lift very much. Well you're lifting a lot I can see right there. Yeah, you can put them anywhere here. Okay. That's fine. Wonderful. So how you doing today? All right. Yeah. So you're in Vietnam, huh? Yeah. What branch? Army? Army. Okay. Yeah. This too? Yep. Oh, wow. What is that? A weight? Well, what I did is I, I made that at work for it. Retired. Wow. And we got a chihuahua. Right. So. <laughs> okay. We let her. She was trained in the house to okay. go on pads. Sure, sure. So. I spread the pads out and I put that in the middle of the pads, the hole of the pads, because okay. you know when a dog is done, they scratch. Yeah, it's you, there goes the pad. Yeah, yeah so <laughs> that's what that was. It's, she, uh, she don't need it no more. So. Okay, all right. Well, I'll take it off your hands, I got it. <sighs> Enjoying this warm weather oh, for man. November? It is wonderful. I hope it stays like this until March. Yeah. Warm up. Mother Nature won't notice that spring is on its way. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Yeah, I appreciate you. So it's a little bit more than an hour, and I'm done with my Cortland route. 
So if you want to Google Cortland, Illinois, that that is the the neighborhoods that I just uh, finished canvassing. I I don't know what you want to call it, my route. And so I am going to keep these weights. I don't know. I'm going to keep this. That's a that's a beefy chunk of metal right there. I don't know why. That's just cool. Um, I'm going to drop this off probably at my house because I don't because I don't have a lot of stuff. And then I'm going to do the south side of DeKalb. So you kind of know what I do on my Fridays. Yeah. And I'm also telling the other scrappers what I'm doing on my Fridays. Scott was calling me. Hey, what's going on? Yes, sir. Thank you. How you doing? Yeah, all right, good stuff. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah I messed. I turned the corner in the city in, the part, in an alley. Right. And it had one of those cement risers about just a foot and a half high. Sure. And it tore apart the one oh. side. Wow. So luckily on eBay, I found a set for 100 bucks. Okay. So I replaced the one I need, but that's for the other side. Hopefully I'll never need it. Yeah, all right. And Have a good day. Saying, get the garage clean. Uh-oh. <laughs> you say yes, ma'am. You come around? Yeah, every garbage morning. Every yep. mor morning? Yeah. You don't come on Thursday, do you? No, uh. Okay. Yeah, just on the, on the morning of garbage. So if you if you leave your scrap on the curb, I or one of the other scrappers will pick it up. Okay. Yeah. I got to pack better. Huh. All right. I want that thing going vertical. I can hear the garbage man. I don't know what that is, but it looks like it was tagged by the G man. stuff please call for pickup thanks hmm. oops i'm a, what's that all right thank you sir how you doing i'm good you? all right yeah i'm telling the wife that uh lake side she was gonna call but i told her no need to call now it's gone all right yep <laughs> That's yeah, that ain't bad. I thought it was gonna be full of something. I'm really glad it's not. That's for sure. Whoa! These older ones are heavier. Let's get that cord. I can 
to remember to put scrap inside of it as I'm scrapping. That'd be, but that'd be great. <laughs> what is that thing? It's electronics and speakers. Seriously, what is that thing? It makes no sense. Not in my little brain, it doesn't. Is it a record player? Huh. It's a Magnavox. The size of those speakers. Oh. Yeah, it's an old record player. Sure enough. I've tried to sell these things before. This just never works. So, yeah, it's on a. It comes out. Old Magnavox. <laughs> wow. That's kind of nice. That's not metal. Hey, good morning. It's a Hoover. But the copper is going to get recycled. That's right. Man, it is nice out. I almost have to take my hoodie off. Almost. Hmm. I wonder what this was. Beefy, that's for sure. Toy box of some sort. I remember when I was a kid at my grandmother's house, we had the coolest toy box. And uh, yeah, I have fond memories of that. Yep. I don't know, it was about like twice the size of this. I had two doors on the top, and then it was like the front was kind of like this, where you had to like put your hand in it. And it was just packed full of the funnest toys. Definitely collect and recycle insulated copper wire before the garbage man comes any moment to take this. Is it a carpet cleaner? Yeah. Hopefully it's not too dusty. Oh, you're pretty dusty. No doubt. We're gonna take you on a little trip to a scrapyard. And into a massive shredder. Uh oh, someone had a oil leak or a gas leak here or something. Both y'alls getting out for a second. <laughs> Fine, I'm leaving. All right, this probably won't be that easy, but I'm hoping that there's enough room on the truck for me to be able to close the tailgate. All right. Yeah, I still haven't got the zip ties and the duct tape. So I'd like to zip tie this closed. 
so it's not flopping open as I'm... Oh, well, it's gonna happen anyway. Oh, look at all that guff coming out. those things falling out. All right, I don't know what's catching here. I don't understand physics anymore. All right, now, back up on your wheels. A nickel. Excellent. It's about gooses. All right, how am I going to pull this off? What's this? Oh. Yeah, that's a Mashomatic right there. Mashomatic 2000. Huh. All right. Uh, what's going to happen here? Hmm. I'm going to have to straight up, I think. How do I do this? That's just crazy. Seriously, what, what was I thinking? Metal tangles incredibly well. All right, I'm gonna give up right now on that. I can't though, I need to get this. I want to get the, the bed on the side, basically. Huh. I bet some people are like, keep that ball. It's a rivet maker popper thing. to go vertical as well. This is no joke. Yeah. 
That's pretty. 80 pounds just by itself. Huh. I really don't know how I'm gonna do that. I don't even, even know what I'm gonna do, actually. I really don't know. Like, right there? But how do I do it? Me luck. <clears throat> well, I guess that's gonna be it. All right, put this back on. I think we'll leave you guys. Maybe I can put it on the side. Straight on top and then rope it down. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about the noise, neighbors, but I'm gonna make some. Oh, did I just break my sign? All right, let's rope it down. Is that a battery sitting on the curb? I'm sorry, is that a $10 bill sitting on the curb? Uh, yeah. Thanks, folks. Sweetness. Even has a handle to it. Oh, that's heavy. Hi, good morning, how are you? Good. Yes, ma'am. Hey, yeah, yeah, this is $10 battery right here. There you go. I'm excited. Don't quite know where to put it. Seriously, where are we going? I'm not putting you in the truck. Wow. I don't know where to go with it. fit right in there I think so that's a good find that's a real good find perfect sure if that the battery acid that was on my gloves so, getting out my other gloves. Yeah. I got 
got stuck behind the garbage man in the alley. got some room for this with it being rolled up makes it a little easier that's for sure right there what about you right here perfect Oh, no, nope. Don't want to get any copyright strikes. There's some cinder blocks. I heard one scrapper say, yeah, you want to weigh down your scrap because you're selling weight. I was like, no, they're measuring your metal with weight. Yeah, don't get that twisted. Cord clippers unite. I know it's a shark. But it's a shark that's getting ready to go to the landfill but the copper is not thank you very much what is all this let's take a look just a quick look a little bit of metal Oh. Measuring tape, nuts and bolts and screws. Oh. You know I'm taking it. Please don't fall apart. Yeah. Huh. There's a lot of stuff in there. A bunch of books. What are you? A calculator? Pens? I'm a sucker for pens. All right. I have enough calculators. Hmm. Omron. I, uh, when I was working as a product manager, Omron was one of our suppliers of electronic equipment. But now I'm not smart enough to even open the box. Home run walking thingamajig. Hmm. Nah. Yes, it's pronounced Omron, not Omron. Betty Crocker cookbooks, a whole bunch of them. P 
picture cookbook. Oh, I don't have to read. Yum. 4G. What's going on here? All right. I think we got some gold right here. I do, I do. Oh yeah. We got ourselves a something or another. 4G LTE thingamajig. Yes. I'll take it. It's a little mini tablet. Yep. Huh, cool. You don't mind if I recycle some of your metal, do you? Thanks. We were praying somebody would take something. Yeah, I see you have a lot of cookbooks and stuff. Yeah, she's moving. This is going to keep happening. Wow. Okay. I yeah. I don't know how much more is coming out here. For... Okay. She put things out here, though, and nobody comes to get them, so. Wow. She, I'm not sure if she's even done. I don't think she knows what she's doing. Yeah, but I get it. It's not easy to move, you know. It's just. Uh, yeah. We all collect a lot of stuff, you know. Yep. So. A lot of stuff over the place. Yep. Yeah. And Thank you. Thanks. You don't want to short the battery out with this. Where does this kind of go? I don't even. Oh, I got fluffy scrap. That's not going to work either. Hmm. All right, going to front. Just have to remember to take out at the scrapyard. All right, one last look and we're out of here. All right, can't take any more fluffy stuff. Welcome to my garden. stuff. I'm going to take a couple of things with cords. That'll be it. All right, let's get out of here. I don't know what's what's a good guess for the scrap. 4,400? 4,440. I like that number. Four thousand five hundred forty. That's a better number. Wow, that's good. That's real good. Looking a little popular at the scrapyard. Hmm. Can I sneak in there? I'll bet I can. I can get in here and get out of the way. Bam. What do you think of that? Hey. Oh, yeah. What's going on, man? All right, I'm going to untie this and then we can start the offload. All right, so I already chucked that, uh, I don't know, candle holder, whatever was in here. There's a scale. Duck in here. All right. 
best try not to get hurt with this precarious strap. Wow. That's a bit dangerous. This is one I would like a dump trailer, that's for sure. What's next? How about this? Let me set the camera up and we'll fast forward this part. Recycling his own siding. That's good. And I'm weighing out at 3940. All right, let's bring over the car battery. I like the non Ferris area is over here now versus that building. They used to be the recycling center, but uh, they've reconfigured it to where they're not going back and forth and back and forth. All right, I'm gonna stay out of the way of the of that um, entrance. Now these are the gloves that I think that was battery acid. I don't know what that was, but I'm gonna use the same gloves to pick it up. Ooh, this truck. Definitely earned its keep today, that's for sure. All right, it's zeroed out. 50 pounds. Fifty pounds. Where do you want it? Okay. Oh, I forgot it. Uh, I'm always forgetting stuff. Forgot the hair dryer and curling iron and crimper. Whatever. I'm all mad at myself. Whatever, Paul. How much do I weigh? 280? Lies! All lies! Dude, you got the mega jug. Oh, that's pure alcohol, isn't it? What yep. is that? 80% alcohol. Wait, what is it? It's strong. There, there's no gel to it, it's just alcohol. Yeah. Ah. 
<laughs> so what are you up to, man? Not much. I'm trying to get some runs out today. All right. You selling metal too? Excuse me? You're buying and selling, huh? That's right. Pretty Thanks, man. Today. Yeah, I'll see you. I got a fitty. That's sweet. $51.75. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for saving our souls. And thank you for caring about our life here. Lord, you shed your holiness in heaven to be with us down here on earth. You know what it's like. You are a God that knows what it's like. Amen. I'm putting my good gloves back on. Not those ones that may have battery acid on them. I don't know. But you know what? I just don't feel like I'm done scrapping yet. There's stuff on the curb. Looks like it's been on the curb for a while. What is that? Sony and AIWA. I don't know what that is. High powered. Hmm. Are you kidding me? Can't you make it any heavier? I probably should put it up front, huh? like a clean out to me. A coach purse? <laughs> Alright, what else we got going on here? Hose. I smell like, I don't know, ether or something over here. It's like some garage chemicals that ought not be here. Yeah, big time. I don't know what's going on over here. There's some chemicals. I, I like breathtaking. Yep, it's in there. There's something going on there. Ugh. That's funny. The chemicals got me before I even saw them. Ah, they go to the top of these. Huh. Yeah, that's there. So I don't know, do they plan on throwing those cardboard garbage cans away? Huh. 
What's in there? Nothing. All right, let's get out of here. Frisbee. Shh. Oh yeah. This is definitely the whack and smack 5,000. Oh yeah. to get me. Uh. Once you're in my truck, you can never leave. Yeah. It's seen better days. smell lunch someone's cooking it's smelling good does that cloth come off huh. maybe <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to rip it Packing is lacking. Normally I don't end my video in the middle of scrapping, but I'm actually done with my route. I have a half a truck load. I'm not going to take that in. Um, so I got the stereo equipment. I got these nuts and bolts and screws and whatever that is. Um, uh, Verizon. I don't know what that thing is. So I'll have to see what that is. But I just want to say thanks for uh, hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Thanks for just a wonderful Friday. Wow. It's super nice. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Lord, I'm going to pray a special blessing for those, those of us that are feeling lonely. Even though we might be in a family or in a relationship, loneliness happens regardless. Lord, fill our hearts. Let us know that we're part of your plan.